Three a day. One do you have? You you don't work? Yeah, all that. What work, you kids, where, where, sports. Where, how do you take three showers yeah, a day? Work, kids, sports, game bag, still get to get to the gym, <laughs> all that. I so take, how do you take three I'm showers a day? I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Wake up in the morning, yeah. shower. Okay. Go out, work, do everything you got to do. Uh-huh. Leave work, shower. Okay. Gym, kids, homework, sports, dinner, shower. Three showers a day. Okay. This is, to the people taking one, you nasty as a motherfucker to me. I don't understand it. I don't know how you can walk the whole day and jump in your bed. Ass I, I take two, and I thought that's a lot. Do you work out? Not really. Yeah, you're going to take see, a shower every time you come from the gym. Yeah, you have, yeah, that's, like, yeah, that's mandatory. I got a shower before I go to the gym. Like, I like something to be about, fresh before I go in there. Yeah, I can't mm-hmm. go in the gym smelling like work like all day. Mm-hmm. Like, no, nah, I got to. You feel me? That's me, though. The thing with the Gen Z thing that you said about how, like, we don't, you know, Gen Z doesn't, or you were saying, like, um, Hard work isn't paying pretty much at this point. The harder you work, get ready with me and then it's not working. What else are you going to do? You get what I'm saying? So you have to prioritize or you have to have some sort of, I need to work hard or I need to get an education, even if you don't necessarily believe in it, whatever, you know what I mean? You have to somewhat still work hard. That still is the key to success at the end of the day. Like it isn't easy to, it isn't easy, believe it or not, to as simple as get ready with me looks. It's not easy to go, okay, put the tripod here. Okay, no, and that's then, work. And, you know what I mean? So, and I, I this, this, it all this, up. Like, so it's work to everything. I, I, I disagree to an extent. Yeah, it's work. But a lot of them people that's really got money, they mental powerhouses. They 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 orchestrating mm-hmm. their mind to work less. They're not mm-hmm. necessarily doing more. If I'm working my mind, if I got an idea and can figure it out, and I can kill some time, all right, let me pay this dude to do this, and let me pay them to do that, or whatever the case is, that can kill off half the day or whatever I need to do. And if I'm working, I'm working my mind on new ideas and more creativity versus just slaving all day Mm -hmm. and getting a check at the end of the day and you're done. I remember they had like a, um, I think it was uh, Henry Ford, don't give me the line, but they tried to bleed him like on the stand about something like why he don't acquire certain information. He like, what do I, what do I need to do all this work for when I can just call somebody that knows this? If I don't know how to fix a, uh, uh, an engine, I know somebody that know how to tweak it. If I don't know how to do this, I can have somebody do that. So he's... Still taking grass and most of the work, but he's not doing most of the work. So where I, I agree with you is that you can, you know, use other people or pay other people to do things and, and shorten your workload. But again, the example you're using is somebody like Henry Ford, who had to work hard to get to where he is. We have people who have done nothing at all who want to adapt that same mindset. And so that's the problem that, I'm, that I have with Gen Z is that, like, you want to be a boss, but you're not willing to put in the 12 to 16 hours for however many years to get to that moment to then where you can say, hey, you do this and you do that. You just want to wake up one day and just be there off the jump. Being, by a, by being a boss is overrated. Sorry, I didn't mean to come nah, go, nah, ahead. Nah, go ahead. Nah, go ahead. Because I, I see you got boss on your hand. I know, it's, 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 yeah, don't cover it up. It's old, but I think being a boss is overrated, to be honest with you. It's a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. Like Sometimes being a number two is just easier. If you find someone who's really good at being a number one, not everyone could be a number one. You know nice. what I mean? So if nice. you find a person who's really good at being a number one and you're really good at being a number two, it's just just let them handle it. You know what I mean? And as long as you're doing your job, they're taking care of you and you know what I mean? And you're still getting the benefits of what they have like worked hard for. You know, everyone has their role. Like not everyone should be a boss. Like, every, you know, you can there's roles in life that you could take that you could be good at. And you could still make money and you could still live me, a happy life. Let me say one more thing, even giving us as an example. Do you consider us working hard right now? Um, Hell yeah, this shit more. This, yeah, this, it's, 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 this it's, shit is more work than a nine to five because a <laughs> nine to five, when you clock out, you done. I don't know about other content creators, but my shit around the clock, bro. Like, yeah. like before, a, before I discovered AI, nigga, I was. All the clips you see, that's me yeah, cutting yeah. them literally. Like, nigga, I'm at the dinner table cutting clips while I'm working. I'm cutting clips, mm-hmm. editing clips, editing captions. Like, I'm like, God damn, this is... People think you just set up a camera, it's talk, that leave, and that's it. No. Like, no, unless you got a team behind you that you paying, like you say, on some Henry Ford shit. Okay, he do editing. Boom, let me pay him. He do camera. He do this. Bam, let me pay them. No, it's one, one man band. Like, uh, this shit is work. All I'm saying is, on an on equivalent scale, if you was making the same amount of money, X a construction worker, X of what we doing, who's going to consider 
one working harder than the other. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna look at this construction worker picking up pallets, doing yeah. all type of shit that he's working harder. You're not gonna look at this. All the people gonna look at it and say, Oh, y'all up there talking. What the fuck is you doing really? And whatever the case is, you're not even breaking a sweat. Right. So to say that you're working harder, but no, we're working harder in a sense because you know what you're doing behind the scenes. But once you get to a point where you make it, you're gonna be just getting behind the camera. Okay, yeah, shut that down. Yeah, edit this, <laughs> do that. I don't think this is hard work. I think it's just, yeah. if it pays off, it's just smart work. You know what I mean? I don't know if it, like, gardening is hard and landscaping is hard and, like, breaking I mean, from the sweat. from a physical aspect it is. But yeah. I wouldn't say necessarily Look, from a mental standpoint. Did, did not to so cut I, you I, off. So I, no, so I just, to, to continue real quick, like, again, if you are a construction worker or a landscaper or a gardener, not to shit on them at all because it is hard work physical-wise, but you don't have to continuously come up with new content, break the content down, mm. um, and have a vision for weeks down the road, months down the road, uh, have an image to upkeep. Like, and again, so it's two it's two different things. Like I think that they're but both you, but hard. You still pro- physical. But you still prove my point, like I said, not. because majority of them are mental powerhouses. So you have to be a mental powerhouse to be able to come up with content and do certain things. I'm not necessarily saying it ain't hard work, mm-hmm. but physically you're not coming home exhausted, whoop. Like I don't even want to do nothing else, mm-hmm. like to that point. Mentally, you might be drained, but you can go fucking meditate for 15 minutes and recharge your brain. So it's a lot of different, like you said, different concepts of that. That's the only part I'm going to disagree with. Because mm. I, I agree with you, Danny, 100% of what you're saying. Mm-hmm. But I think the mental exhaustion is way worse than the physical. This is coming from somebody who had done construction. This comes from somebody who was in the oil field working, breaking his back, like physical work. Mo- half the day is ass time. So you see construction workers... Yeah, when you see them busting ass, they busting ass. But don't think the whole entire day is busting ass. When it's time to get it, okay, cool, we finna knock this out. Two hours, boom. We finna build this oil well. Okay, cool, three hours, boom. Then the next three hours, you might be on your ass. So you're saying it's because you have instructions, you don't have to think too much. Like, like you don't have said, to plan it out. You just have to do what you're told and you go home and get paid. I was no, no, I mean, okay. like, you got a blueprint, right? Like, okay, we finna build this house. That's what the I'm blueprint saying. is made already. Like, you just know I got to do this, but when I leave, it's done. I'm not thinking about building a house no more. Mm-hmm. With the content, you're thinking about new ideas. Shit never depends, turns off, yeah. It depends on what type of content you're making. If you're making, like, ratchet content where I'm gonna get some drunk hoes to come in and we ain't really got to <laughs> think, we just been talking about fucking all day, that's easy as hell. But when you try to, like, lead a nation, you trying to inspire the minds, you trying to you know what I'm saying? You're trying to uphold a certain image. That shit takes work because you got to come here week in, week out, day in, day out, not have the same topics, not t- not talk about the same shit and still make it interesting. And How many we, times a week do you shoot? Me right now, it, it depends, right? Because I got other shit going on what in I, life. When, when I speak, I mean, it, I mean excluding everything else from your from your world. If you have to strictly focus on doing content okay. and somebody else working. What do you mean, I, did, I did the... I did I did the firefighter thing in fire camp and that's so insane crib. I'm talking about cutting 14 hours straight <laughs> with a 60 pound pack on your back and doing nothing but cutting through big ass trees and non-stop. I'm talking about physical and mental exhaustion, carrying shit, coming back to help people, beating fucking trees down with fucking axes and shit. You beating up stumps and shit. You whooped out physically and mentally on top of that you got to be mentally strong so that's the only reason i say the difference of hard work i'm not disqualifying this as being hard work Mm -hmm. i'm just saying physically you will be mentally and physically exhausted doing certain criteria of work in my opinion okay but what's okay what's the overall point we all getting at like because with me it ain't so much hard work it's smarter work because you could be you got somebody in the warehouse working hard as fuck Working harder than, than the boss is working, but the boss works smarter. The boss, he blueprinted this company, you know what I'm saying, to, to allow him to get the job, which is why he's making the big money. No, he may not be working as physically harder than, than the guy packing the shelves, but he works smarter. The so point he, he should get the, the pay, in my opinion. No, nah, I, I, I agree, but I'm, what I'm saying is the point was that he gave an example of y'all talking about these Gen Zs catching flack for thinking that they don't want to work hard. But instead, in their mind, they're coming up with ways to create things mentally without having to do the hard work that we're giving examples of, without having to be slaving every day in a nine to five. They're creating content or they're doing whatever we're doing, no matter how stupid we are. In their minds, they're like, I'm doing better than what the fuck you did for 40 years. So regardless of whatever flack, like you said, how dumb we think they is, they might actually be smarter in a sense because they're working smarter and not harder. My only pushback on that is that, you know, we have a shorter of, plum, of 
plumbers. We have a shortage of carpenters. We have a shortage of construction workers. We have a shortage of police officers. We have a shortage of fire uh, fighters. We have a shortage of people enlisting into the military. So all of these physical jobs that we're speaking on, we have a shortage of due to the fact of people wanting to be content creators. Meanwhile, if you go to like most of these Gen Z's content pages, they're not even putting in the work that we're putting in. They're not posting six times a day. They're not recording twice a week. So this is what I'm saying about Gen Zers is, is they look up to the people who do the get ready with me's and they say, oh, I want to go do that. But then when they realize that it does take a lot of work and yeah, it might not be shoveling or whatever the case is, but when you have to have a camera follow you around the whole day and then cut every little thing and think about it, well, damn, I don't want to do that either. So this is why I give Gen Z the flag because it's like you want to be a boss, but you don't even really understand the essence of hard work yet. And then you shit on the people who do have the jobs that work hard, but they understand hard work. So I think Gen Z has to understand how to work hard for it to translate over to creating content because how many content creators are getting paid? So it's like, it's still not necessarily, you're obviously not working hard enough or, you know, and in the content game, it just, it becomes like somewhat of luck too. But are you really laying everything out there at the, at every, at the end of every day to say, I worked as hard as I possibly could? Or are you bullshitting it? Because I know we come in here every day and we do what we got to do. But I could tell you right now, how many how many niggas you know that rap that that every six months might put something out? Or how many niggas you know that say I got a podcast and, and they but they but I'm a boss. But every month or two they put something out. The quality is shitty. They barely dropping clips. So it's like at that point you might as well get a job because you're not really doing what you're supposed to do to ensure that you I mean, succeed. Even if That's you're dropping clips and you're doing, you still need income. Like, just right. even if you have views, like uh, my, po I've been just shooting my podcast for, for six months. I have over a hundred million views and I haven't made a dollar. So well, yeah, no, I completely I'm, understand. I'm not, I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to make it a point about who's really right or who's wrong. I'm not mm -hmm. trying to make it a point because distinctively we can say anything because you can say you're working hard, but it could be somebody working harder. You saying you ain't working hard enough. True. So at the end of the day, it's perspective. And if you ask yourself, could you be doing more? You know what I'm saying? You saying six, but could you be doing 10? Could you be doing 12? Mm -hmm. If you really was pushing to that extent. So I think the difference of what we qualify from hard work is just perspective at the end of the day. I think in this day and age, it's, things is just different. People don't want to slave 40 years and be waiting for a pension and whatever the fuck when they're 65 years old yeah, and that's thinking they retire. You know what I mean? That and shit is that shit is trash. Work, work ethic. You know yeah. what I mean? I've been working since I'm 14 years old. I used to take the bus. Like I didn't have phones. Like these kids have phones these days. Everything is like you don't have to look anything up. You could just Google everything. There's directions. Like you don't have to look at a map. Like people don't even want to work. People don't even know. How, like even these younger girls, they don't even know how to cook. Like they don't, they don't have like life skills because of the phones, you know. Yeah, I think once you, we live life in like a permanent comfortable zone, like society. Everything is at your fingertips, so you don't have to work for shit. So that creates that lazy, lax, lackadaisical attitude towards life. Like he was saying, now we're not saying you got to slave forever, which is what I think he was getting at. Getting that, yeah. But nigga, you have to have a work ethic. Like you, you can't right. just go through life like well, I ain't got to do nothing and money got to fall in my lap. Like no, bro, it takes all of us to help each of us. Like as a society, we need firefighters, we need plumbers, we need this, we need that. Like we need people doing these jobs. Everybody can't be a fucking celebrity. Everybody can't be a content creator. Everybody can't go to NFL and the NBA. But I think the pushback is people need to be able to survive comfortably off of these jobs because the the economic system we in right now is not allowing people to to survive like like you said it's hard gas seven fucking dollars a gallon like gas was if when i go to texas gas two three dollars yeah. you fill up nigga, i'm driving around for a week straight filled up one time 30 40 bucks nigga i'm filling up three four times a week out here and it's 130 140 like mm -hmm. easy like it's a car note to fill your car up. That's a fact. Then you paying right. a car note. Then you paying insurance. The insurance. Then the goddamn groceries is like you spend three hundred dollars. I got toilet paper. I got some Tide, right. and some cheese, and some eggs, and some milk. Like <laughs> and what three, the fuck and is three going days on? later, you're going back. And, and you still got a fucking and that's just for dinner. That ain't counting breakfast, lunch. These hungry ass kids eating up everything. So it got to be a balance. Like we we got to balance this shit out a little bit to where people is like happy to do the jobs. Because if I can go get ready for my day make $100,000 every six months, why in the fuck I'm going to go be a plumber? Or why the fuck I'm going to go be a firefighter and make 60 k a year, 70 k a year? I'm making that in six months with this camera. 
So it got it got to make sense. I get you. But her, let, let, let me let, let me turn the attention to her because <laughs> her content. I don't usually comment on shit, but mm. I seen one of her clips. And I'm like, I got to comment on this. She out her fucking brain. Okay. And she gave me some pushback. Like, oh, you ain't ready for this. Okay, cool. Let me bring you to the studio. What? You said, yeah. What did I say to you? No, it wasn't no disrespectful shit. You um, were just like, I don't think you want these problems. I'm like, cool. I want all the problems. I want all the smoke. Okay. You said, only rich men can quote unquote cheat. Oh. She yeah. said, all you normal dudes, shut the fuck up, go to work, <sighs> come home, and, and just no, do what your woman so, say damn near. And I'm it. like, hold on, where the fuck this coming from? I'll break it down. Break that down. Okay. So if, you, if you're taking care of a woman, right, financially supporting her, then she will give, she will turn her cheek to what you're doing outside. But if I'm working and you're regular, you're not really, you're just regular, you know what I mean? You're not really contributing to the comfort of my life, then, you know, you can't have a baby on me. Like, I'm not really going to go for that. Is this every woman you speak of will turn the I'm, cheek? I, I, yes. Okay, now Okay. I if you're worth $100 million, you're going to get away with a lot of shit that, let's say, I don't know, Joe Schmo can't get away with. Like, you're going to put up with a lot because, A, you don't have to work. You have, you're have you going to Gucci once a week. You know what I'm saying? You're, you like those shoes? Yep. So I don't want to know what you're doing. You know what I mean? You're eating steaks. You, you, you feel good. You, you got, like, your nails done. You don't have to worry about shit. Your car, whatever car you just picked out of the lot. So you're happy with your life. Yeah, obviously you want your man to be faithful, but... You're not going to go look for problems. You're not going to go search his phone. Like, for what? Because where are you going? Like, you're not going anywhere. Uh, so that. you're going to really... So does she really matter to you if you could put a price on it? It matters if it's if it's disrespectfully done. That's why I said, if you if you have a girl, just fuck a prostitute and call it a day. Don't have, like, a second girlfriend. <laughs> talk about this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, that's what I was saying. Like, it's, it's kind of... It would hurt my feelings to know that there's another woman, like, you know five miles away that you're paying for her apartment and every time we get into a fight, you're going to her house. Okay. I would prefer you fuck some hoe, give her a thousand dollars and keep it moving. You don't know her name. She doesn't know your name and you know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's it. I agree with you. For sure, I think if you, obviously, you know, people who are worth a hundred million dollars are getting... Um, five million even, whatever. Whatever the case is, right? Are getting, you know, people, you're, you're going to turn your head more but I think a lot of women do that in general regardless of pay. Like, there's people who are married who have been married 30 years, 40 years, whatever. I'm sure dude has cheated however many times, and she's overlooked it because it's, it's somewhat relative. Like, he might not be worth $5 million, but he might make $100,000 a year. To her, that might be Well, rich. I'm she saying it's, it's to... relative to whatever, right? You're but he's taking care of the household. Yeah, he's he's okay. providing. So, yeah, so if you're providing, then you have more leeway than someone who is not. Like, if you're living with me. What's providing? Paying the rent. Paying the bill, like the main bills, and okay, you're just look, a housewife. This is why I got to interject, right? Because you you making it sound good and nice now. You was, but you was low key talking down on the regular guys in the clip. I, I wasn't. I no, said no, no, if you're no, regular, I just said how it sounded in the clip. The tone of it was like you're regular. You're nothing. Like you can't do I, shit. I, I didn't say but, that. You could but, run it back. But I agree with what you're saying. Women will break the rules for the quote unquote high value. Guys, they will, right? and they, they make will. the rules for the regular guys. My pushback was. This does not apply to all women. You're not all going to get that lifestyle because you, you're making the emphasis on, oh, the guy, you're regular, you're regular. But yeah, we talk about a regular woman. Like You're not even going to get access to the guy that we're talking about that you're going to overlook. And what I try to let women know is, yeah, regular guys is fucking bitches too. Like, don't think because he regular. And all right, but don't build. be mad when your your tires are slashed then. What's that? What's that? that happen, I feel like I'm that just saying, happen I'm to, just, to No, no, no. It's not going to happen with that. Why slash his tires just to stay? I'm just, That's crazy. I'm just saying. I don't know. <laughs> that don't make no sense. I don't know. All I'm saying is, she's saying, all I'm saying, all, all my whole point was, she said every woman would turn their cheek. So in other words, for the right amount of dollar, yeah. every woman will throw any morals or principles out the window if you got the bag right. Not Well, if, if she has money too... That might be different, right? So if she has just as much money as you, then she's not gonna she's not gonna put up I with your shit. I ain't even gonna say she don't got morals because she can have morals, but it's more so understanding the nature of men. Like it's gonna happen, and the divorce rates is up through the roof. Fat kids is being raised in single family households because the wife went through the phone. Dude got his dick sucked one day, and now she left and crumbled the family and split the family. The thing family is, you up. can't have a it's kid. Not on that us, serious. Like, having a kid, I consider that cheating. That's serious. STD. 
cheating. You spending family money, like, okay, I bought you a Gucci purse and I went and got her a, a fucking Prada purse. You cheating, bro. Why are you getting these bitches Prada purses? Like, that's for your wife. But just a guy being a man, a man being a man, that's not cheating. I don't care if he's a millionaire. I don't care if he's a regular guy, Best Buy. It's going to happen. Accept it. Is this Are you going to accept it? <laughs> Men and women are different. I'm you just asking. Do, no, I'm just asking. I'm not. Absolutely not. Because uh, I know what comes with a woman cheating. Okay. But can I tell you something? If I know that you're cheating on me, I'm not really going to love you like that. I'm not going to give you my heart if I know you're going to just cheat on me. with. Because then I'm like, what if you meet a girl and you're cheating on me with someone better and younger and you might like her more? So then where does that leave me? Men don't operate Listen, like that. Listen, I've spoken to many men these days in, in, these cur in this current er era, right, where they, where they straight up tell me. That they have multiple women. And I'm just like, and th these men of, of value, not regular men, right? And they let me know. And I'm just like, hmm, okay. So I'm just never going to, okay, I'll talk to you. I'll, I'll entertain you, but I'm never going to love you because you straight up just told me you have multiple women. So what am I going to do with you? He might like her more, but he might love you more. I mean, whatever. I don't know. I'm Th not going to even, I'm not even playing. I'm, I'm not even, I'm okay, just, just going to, you know. I'm trying to get up. Uh for most majority of men, right? This is majority. Like it's it's a small minority who will do the opposite. But most men, if they got the woman they want that's holding it down at home, she got his kids, she got his loyalty, his love. Mm -hmm. I don't care if she look better. I don't care if she younger. He's not leaving what's at home for some fun on the side because she's younger with a fatter ass. It's like, do y'all understand what post nut clarity is? Like, yeah, we see red. Well, we want to go knock something down. But after we hit, we looking at her like, this bitch ain't really shit. Like, I got a good thing at home. So this is why when your man go fuck another woman, he come home happy and start loving on you more. Now he getting uh, so spontaneous So you want us... Oh, yeah, I heard that from he being Charles. Happy, yeah, he Charles being happier now. He <laughs> be, you like, damn, babe, why you so yeah, love Yeah, but we, we don't want to know about it, though. Like, all this, oh, just accept it. We don't really want to know about it. So why do y'all look for it? I don't know. Depends, because... <laughs> Hey, that's, the, hey, hey, look, that's the thing we're not gonna put it in your face but like he said why are you looking for it because most men aren't coming home saying hey babe whoo you gotta see this bitch i fuck today no well, she usually I mean, going if you act text. weird if you start acting different and your patterns are different we're gonna want to know why women are intuitive and women are smart and women pay attention to shit so if you start acting different and let's say you didn't have sex with me for a whole week i'm just gonna wonder what or you take a shower out of nowhere at a time you never took a shower I'm just Damn, like nigga can't shower. <laughs> That's crazy. What's what's going on? Yeah, you right come now? home at three in the morning to shower. I mean, it's probably good. okay. Look, so you love this man, right? Y'all together, you love him. You find oh, out he cheated. Now you can't love him no more. What changes? Yeah, I don't love him the same. If he cheats on me, and let's say I forgive him, and then he cheats on me again, and I find out, and I, I, like no, I'm, I'm not... saying, what makes you now say I can't love you the same when you've been loving him for five years? He been fucking bitches for five years. You just didn't know about it. But now that you found out you don't love him the same, what changes? The he same thing that changes bitches. in you when you find out if your bitch cheated on you. If you didn't know about it, you're still going to love her the same. But when she, when you find out about it, you're going to leave her, right? No, I'm going to leave her because I know what it takes for a woman to cheat on a man that she loves. In, in <sighs> Guys a make up with. like the craziest excuses. You think it's not, we don't have the same kinds of feelings. Love no. is love. We don't want to be, we don't want to share what we love so with let me someone tell you else. This. So it is women that do bring other women for their man from time to time. Yeah, I'm and not they, one of those women. I can't saying, speak on that. But you said that. every woman feels the same way I as you. I didn't say every woman feels be the same way as me. I can only speak for myself. I don't know what other women... I know other women do other things. I can't speak for those women. I can speak for myself. I'm not bringing you any woman to fuck. Like, I'm not having a threesome with you. Like, I'm not... You can't tell me you have another bitch. Like, it's just not going to work. At the end of the day, man, this is why I get tired of relationship shit. Because... You and your woman or your spouse has to define the terms and conditions of y'all relationship. For sure. Everybody else is going off of shit because they think everybody else, this is how it's supposed to be or how I'm going to look in everybody else's eyes. But you might have a female that don't care about you doing certain things. Mm -hmm. But that don't mean go crazy. That don't mean niggas is running around trying to fuck every bitch he see. Mm -hmm. But from time to time, he might bring it to her attention. Like, babe, whoop -de -whoop, let's go do this or do that. And that's not considered cheating in they in they in they ways. I'm just saying for though. For what reason? Like, why is she putting up with that if he's not paying why does the bills? She, what, but hold why? On, hold on. Why do y'all stuck on what, this why, bullshit? Why? Why? Why does it have to be putting up with something? Why she can't just want to see him I, at his ultimate happiness? Whatever make him happiest the most. 
don't know. Hold on, but, but we don't you, think like that. You just went on this whole tangent about how it's hard out here. You it, how much groceries cost, gas cost, but y'all still talking this bill shit. Seventy percent of people are living check to check. Mm-hmm. Most women are average too. Like right. most guys, I know all women like to think they're above average, but most women are average as well. So what's the problem with? Having an average guy living an average life, but just knowing he gonna be a man too, just like this man that got more money than him. Because at any given time, he could be the man that got more Wait, money. Wait, all right, what's average? Well, can I just say it just has to be equal. Everybody's, let's say everyone's average. As long as we're equally average, then that works. No, I mean you paying your half of the bills, he's paying his half. In a woman's eyes cool. on social media, he's not providing. How is no, he no, not? that's that's not not provide. If he's paying half, that's still something. That's but that's, but that's not the same as some. That's that is providing, but that's not the same as someone paying everything. So that's why if someone's paying everything, they have more leeway than someone who's paying half or someone who's not paying anything. Who's so just you, like you can't walk around with your dick on the table. Nah, the let me say this up. So you define a man by how much money he has. I don't define a man by how much money he's. I, no, I'm just I'm just giving you the rules. You're not you're not equivalent as a man to do these things because you don't have X amount of money. So, Gotta pay so to play. you're not <laughs> you're not a certain type of man if you don't have X amount of money. What so do you mean he, a certain type of man? I just I, you got to so pay to play. That's you, all. You're not you're not that man in my eyes. If you're not making a hundred million dollars, like you said, or I'm taking all the bills, you're not this type of man in my eyes. I'm not going to respect you the way I'm going to respect him. I'm not going to turn a cheek the way I'm going to turn a cheek with him because yeah. you do not have money. So you define Same a man thing with by a the bag he has. And a girl who, who who has a big ass and titties, you know what I'm saying? is going to get treated differently. Let me ask you this. What? The 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 man, the million dollar man that you're going to overlook, are you still going to love him the same knowing he's fucking other women, but he's paying everything? Knowing? Like yeah. I know? Yeah, like you know. He like he tells me. No, like you know. He's a million like, dollar guy. Like I know, guy. but he, he, but I don't feel it. Okay, look. I need to know. Do hold I on, feel no, it I'm gonna tell, tell you right now. What? This we I keep bringing this up because I want us to live in reality. You know, if you get a million dollar man, he has other women. You I know, know for but a fact. How, but is he is he throwing it in my face? No, he's not throwing it in your face. So when he leaves the house, he's knocking shit down every now and then when he, when time allows, when he feel like it. As long as I don't feel it, I'm good. If you say you got to turn and look the other way, you know what's going on. Right. But you're going to love I him mean, the same, right? Hold on. Okay. Because he got the bag. This is why I tell you. Okay, this hold on. Just stop. Listen. listen. <laughs> Get money. Listen, y'all. That's it. All it. this back and forth, this is just to show the, the mindsets of men and women. The ultimate, the bottom line with men, the men who are not above average, you're not in these top percentiles, you have to put up with more than the men who are up here in these top percentiles. Yeah, that's just, so if you want to live that's life right. outside the rules... That women make for average men, don't be an average man. Get out here, get on your grind, get fucking rich, and then you don't got to deal with nothing. They're going to all suck your dick. They're going to all talk this shit on social media, but they're going to do whatever you say if you got the fucking bag. So get to the bag. That's the bottom line. My only thing is why I always bring this up, because I want women to stop divorcing men and destroying their families and destroying their kids' childhood because a man was being a man because he's going to happen anyway. And if he had the back, you was going to overlook it anyway. I don't think that women divorce men for cheating. And most of the reasons women divorce men is because men, financial and men are... Financial and infidelity are the top reasons. Listen, just listen. I think men are very uh, abusive towards women. Women are abusive to men. Nah, like, but we're not physically yoked the same. Hold on. What, so. Define abuse because, oh my God, I hate women to say this shit. Yeah. Define this abuse. is true. No, no, uh, ver- abuse. Verbally abusive, uh, emotionally abusive, physically abusive, financially abusive. Like, I made a video about this before. I'm just saying that mm. women have, women are like your slaves. Type. Like, women are like men's, they're like, we're put here, we're like, we're already like on the weaker. Like, we're, if you want to kill me right now, like, what can I do? Nothing. Like, I would have to just die because I can't I can't protect myself from a man. So you guys have the power and you guys take advantage of it. And, and you know, most men in relationships, women are with fed woman, up with it. A lot of women are happier single than with no, a man. Not. That's cap. That's, 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 okay. that, that, that's cap. This is why most women are who are single or full blown alcoholics. Now you see them on the ground. I'm not. Taco I'm Tuesday. single. I'm not. I don't even drink. Would happy you, Friday. I don't even okay. smoke. Okay. Would you, you prefer single? to have a man? Yes. Then you ain't happy single. 
I would, but I, I've, I've been, like, I've seen what's out there. It's, but you say you're happy you're single, but, but you're I not. But I can be with a man right now, right? I have men that want to be with me, but we I don't want to be the man with you that want. man you want. We, when we speak, <laughs> they always do this. Oh, when God. we speak, it's the man you want. It's not any man. Stop yeah. with the, oh, a man is the easiest thing to get. Yes, I didn't say a that. man is the easiest thing to get. The man you want is not the easiest thing to get. And right. they always say this, and we say the same thing. Yeah, you can get a man, but can you keep that man around long enough <laughs> to fuck with you? Yeah, he might fuck with you for a few months. He might fuck on you, but can you keep him How around? How could we keep him when there's so many fucking bitches willing to do all types of shit for, for nothing? How? How the fuck are we supposed to keep him focused when there's this and the... I'm gonna tell you how. Tell me. But look, I gotta push back on the abuse. Number one, we're getting abused. If you, if you look at the studies, because she said what she did studies? a video on this. I'm just telling no, you, no, it's no, the no, truth. No, no, I look. talk to any any married woman and ask her how her her husband's treating her. And most of the what time, what was that NFL player that just went broke? He was screaming. They had the video of him on TMZ, yeah. and the woman was mentally abusing him for years, and then raped him for all his money. You know what I'm saying? Had you, he fucked up? Women like yeah. to run to the abuse, but. If you look at the Happen. stats, women are actually more physically abusive in relationships than men. If you look at women on women relationships, the domestic rates are higher than heterosexual mm -hmm. men on women. But so, women are dying. Women are and, dying every on, day in the hands on, of their lovers that hold are men. On. Men Just don't call the cops. So if my girl get mad and punch Why me... Why would they call the cops? Are you scared of me? Are you scared of a woman if no, she no, hits this, you? No, look, this if is my point. If you're wilding out, punching the wall, and making me fear for my life, and I don't know what to do, and I don't have a gun, who am I going to call? If I don't have a brother, I don't have a father, I have nobody here, and you're going crazy in the house, what am I supposed to look, do? the point you went over hit, your head. What? The point What's went the over point? your head. What's the point? You hit me. We in a relationship. You yeah, punch but you me. Can, you can no, listen, restrain listen. me. Hold though. on, listen. That's my point. You punch me yeah. more than I punch you. I never punch you at all. Okay. You punch me when you mad all the time. The difference is I never report it. The one time I get mad and hit it's you. It's not the same. It's the one time same. I get mad and hit you, you call same. the police. And and now I'm the domestic abuser and you're not. But in re in reality, mm -hmm. you're more domestically abusive than me because you hit me all the time. So it's yeah, cool. But so you it's don't cool. even feel it. So it's so, so it's, it's cool. cool to be so it's not, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just saying. That's if crazy. You, if you knock she out here firing niggas shit up. Break my nose, right? Yeah. You hit me one time, break my nose. I'm not breaking. Why your hit nose. a man in the first place to get yourself hit? I don't know. This is the point I'm trying to make for the uh, for for the people watching. Women don't consider. Their physical abuse as abuse because you can take it. But okay, you so hit if them, a chihuahua hurt, bites a Rottweiler, that, that's like a. a Man, that's we ain't e using dogs. Equal? The accountability mirror is crazy when it <laughs> comes, when it and comes you, to you women. You small, you short, so I know you firing niggas shit up because the yeah. short ones is always the most violent. She always. abusive. She doing everything. I, I, yeah. Look, <laughs> she's talking about verbally. She was, tri she was triggered as hell just now about the flip on you right now. Look, see, see, yeah. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. What you mean? You doing this, beating up walls and Shit. And look, yeah. well, everybody yeah. knows yeah. verbal abuse, that's women 100%. 100%. You ain't out arguing a woman because their arguments don't even have to make sense. When we <laughs> argue and debate, we have to tie it in with logic. They don't. They just say shit to some stick and piss you off. You know what Andrew Tate said? He said 80% of men lie 90% of the time. So a lot of times there's no logic. It's all lies. Everything that come out of women's mouth be lies. Nope. That's not true. Okay, so... We going off everything Andrew Tate said? Right? No, 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 no. Oh, I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just you want to go down that rabbit hole? <laughs> yeah. We going down that rabbit hole. I'm just saying that men do <laughs> Shout lie. out Andrew Tate. Men lie Thanks. all the time. Yeah. Like men lie. To, they will lie about anything. They okay, will human, straight up lie. Humans all the fuck. Lie. They make up lies. They make up pathological stories that women don't do that. Who lies we more? We don't make Who lies more? We're yeah. just better at, at hiding shit. But I we call, don't make better stories. Yeah, I call, Who lies I call more? Cat, man. Women lie for nothing. I don't know. Men. Men. Men lie. Plastic surgery, uh, whatever. That's not the same. Makeup, lie. That's not the same. Fake lashes, We're trying to look lie. good for you. We, we don't we like none of that. We are trying to look good for you. <laughs> we don't always like say that. That's what they say, but then the bitch they step out with got a whole fucking big ass titties, big ass, has her weave, has her fucking makeup done, long nails. That's I want to see a guy that steps out with a woman who doesn't have fake shit on. Show me. Show me a wife or a girlfriend who don't look like a fucking Barbie doll. So you pop? could say you don't like it, but that's what you guys are showing the yeah, world that you're with. Yeah. We can sit here and tell y'all this right <laughs> now. Look, She's bro, still going to go against it. They only pay attention to that one. They don't pay attention to that. To what? To, to that one that we don't even want the homies to know when we hit. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the wife. <laughs> the, 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 no, the you, said, you said the guy who cheats on his wife... 
She got the fake shit. She got the hair done, the makeup, the knee. Oh, everybody's not cheating with that. Some no, of these I'm niggas is cheating the with the fat look. bitches, the ugly bitches, <laughs> the bitch, like I said, the bitch we don't even want the homie to know we it. That y'all right. don't know about y'all only pay attention to the ones that look better than y'all. They or are, y'all feel threatened. Yeah, by them. that that make them insecure. Exactly. They're the only ones they care about. Yeah, they, they don't pay attention. But to they're them. not yeah. gonna That's marry the fat girl. They're not gonna ma- they're going they're gonna marry the girl that looks good enough to he's stand just, next he's, to them. He's just saying that the example you gave is is basically irrelevant because they make the only ones that men cheat with. Thank you. I didn't say cheat. I'm saying the girl that they step out with is usually pretty. Step out. What does step out mean? No, I mean like they show the world as their girl. So, it's usually so step a pretty out don't girl. usually mean, I don't um, mean stepping cheating. out on my girl. No, 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 no. I mean like the ones they take pictures, like the ones that they <laughs> are with, not step out, cheat with. I mean like step out like their girl, their main girl. She's always put together, full face of makeup, hair's always done, pretty. Like yeah, we want beauty. We, we want so the, so, what is, so why are you saying? Oh, we don't even like that. So when man chose you, who was they stepping out with? What do you mean? But like, that's what I'm saying. Every they wasn't choosing to step out with everything that you're saying. They should use a different terminology. She yeah. needs to step out of public, like yeah, with step girl. out. I'm saying, that's, that's what I'm saying. saying. Yeah, so if she saying. had a man as her man, he chose to step out with her. That was not the equivalent of what she's saying. They chose something different. They didn't choose the the big butt or whatever the case is. This is how you kill them all. Every woman that you know always say for some reason. When I'm trying to do a quick store run and I'm looking toe up in sweats with my hair down, no makeup on, I get hit on the most. Mm-hmm. So y'all say we want all this extra shit, but then women, by their own recollection, get hit on the most when they're just regular being themselves without all the superficial shit. So right. that shows you alone, men value your natural beauty. We don't value all the fake shit. Mm-hmm. We got to put up with it because that's what y'all do. Okay. I mean, it sounds good. I, I hear it a lot, but I don't believe it. So if I go on a date with you, you want me to have no makeup? Yes, no I put on put, put on some lip gloss. Do mm-hmm. your natural hair. Wear your natural lashes. Okay. Nails, I don't mind. That that's nails. But as no far makeup? as makeup, caking on makeup, no. no. So no makeup. No, I tell my girl all the time, like I don't. Why are you zero putting on makeup. makeup? Yeah, why are you putting on makeup? I'm not mad at you if you put on makeup. You're really doing that for you, though, because I'm gonna still be cool <laughs> if you got it on or not. I ain't mad at you putting on makeup or doing what you do, but. Some women do look like they just put a whole clown face on when they put makeup on. It don't fit everybody. Right. Okay, let me ask you this from a woman's perspective. Why, whenever men say, hey, we don't like this, we like that. No, nah, y'all niggas lying. I don't believe that. Like, They're going to they bleed us for this. No, no, right no, 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 I'm saying yeah. that if you got three men here. I mean, because I hear it all the time, but then you see the girls they're with, it's not what they're preaching. The girls that they they like or they're, yeah. I disagree. Like you, I disagree. I think that most of the time you see men with like, Regular women, like regular looking women. I don't average. How many exclusive yeah. women is really out here like <laughs> that? Right. To say that to everybody ain't got the exclusive fucking Instagram model out here. Most of the majority of the women, like you said, are normal women out here. Yeah. Now they choosing to go get whatever they getting done, but at the end of the day, before all this plastic surgery stuff was going crazy, men still appreciated skinny women. I say this shit all the time. And men appreciated thick women. Women appre- Men appreciated women in general. It did not matter. Y'all started going crazy with all this shit because y'all started feeling type of ways about y'all bodies. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> okay, I'm look, just look. saying. Bottom line. Okay, cool. Bottom line. If you want to live above the rules, you got to become that exceptional man. You got to become the 5 to 10% guy. And you won't have to put up with none of that shit. If, if you're going to be an average guy... I mean, it depends on the woman you choose, too. But, yeah. ninety A high 90% of women are choosing a man for his bread. They're going to define you by that. They're no. not they not even asking about your characters, <laughs> That's not your true. morals That's and not principles. True. That's not true. You already said if you got $100 million or something, you're paying all the bills. I'm but overlooking shit. At the end of the, yeah, yeah, I am overlooking shit. But at the end of the day, I want someone who's compatible with me, especially like sexually. Like I've had a man who had money before, but... He wasn't doing it for what me. What type you know of what money saying? was it? Real money. Millions. You can't get it all. This is, Okay. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, uh, listen, yeah, yeah. the man who make millions nine times out of ten. Their dick is he, small? No, I don't know about a oh. nigga dick size. I, I mean, crazy. that they they were so <laughs> focused on getting to where they at, they wasn't honing their sex skills. This is why women uh, be with the millionaire, but fuck, but cheat with the gardener. The gardener was too busy knocking shit down to be the millionaire. Which, okay, we're not cheating the with gardener. the gardener. This is like an outdated uh, shit. You a damn reference, lie. man. I got homie after homie after homie who is fucking these rappers' girls, these actors' girls. I'm talking like they with rich niggas, and this nigga ain't shit. Yeah, because and rich, he's listen, this bitch. rich guys can't really fuck like that. 
I'll be, I'll just be honest. I'll just be honest you. with you. They can't because they just want to get their shit off. They don't really care about you. And the guy that doesn't have money, he's gonna care about you a little bit more because he's Make gonna want to keep you again. around. That's, that's what they say. This you know is why they go for the hood niggas. This is why they like the street niggas. We knocking shit back. <laughs> like she gonna have a rich boyfriend. And be fucking the hood, nigga. Like, how many times that's a, have you That's seen the best it? combination to have if you could get away with it. But even most probably rich people probably don't even care. Like, you you here to please me. Yeah. I'm not I'm even rich. here to yeah. even caring about that. If you're yeah. not going to do it, get the fuck up out of yeah, here. Yeah, that's how it is. Yeah. That is but if he got is. a wife, I'm pretty sure he's pleasing her to the, to the best extent he can. So it, it just, I think it depends. His wife is miserable. Okay, so let me. <laughs> okay, so did you leave your, your kid's dad or he left you? Nobody left me ever. <laughs> You I don't get him? I don't get left. See, okay, that's the delusion, man. What? I left him, yeah. Okay, why'd you leave him? Because I just told you why. Men are treating us badly, so we have to leave, okay, unfortunately. So this is let me ask you one question. All right, my, what? Because it's the same question. You said you've never been left before. No, okay. I haven't. So at what point who, I, who relation- becomes the problem at that point? Every single man that you dealt with or you? I'm the problem. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey. I'll, give, I'll give you that. Though. I'll give you, I'm going to give you that I for a minute, that. though. I'm yeah. not um, you like toxic a as hell, huh? I'm not yeah. a role model. Like, I'm not saying be like me. I'm fucked up. I'm fucked up. But because I'm fucked up, I have a lot of good, you know, uh, perspectives on things because I'm, I'm fucked up. But, yeah, I left him because he, was, he had anger issues. I mean, we still talk, obviously. We have a kid together. But, you know, I don't really like a man to, like, have... Uh, that I can't control. Like if you're snapping out over there, you're six foot six, and you, I, I can't handle your your. Why you know? do you feel like you need to control a man? I'm saying when he's angry, I don't really like the feeling I'm getting by being five three in a room with a man who's six foot six who's going crazy. I don't like that feeling. I feel unsafe. Look, let me ask you. One so question. if I don't feel safe around you, I don't want to be with you. Let I need to you feel question. like you're Superman. You know but, what I'm saying? Look, let me ask you a question. What? Have you come to the the realization with yourself? Like you ain't got to tell. You know your friends or whatever, but have you just looked in the mirror like you know what? I'm mm. just gonna be the fun girl for the rest of my life. Like I'm probably just the side chick. I'm not anyone side chick. I'm, I'm I don't even know where you, you left, got that look, from. You left the millionaire because he couldn't fuck. You left your kid's dad for whatever reason. So it seems like you you left every man you ever been with. Right. So you can't keep a steady relationship. I mean, I could keep if I want to stay in it, but I don't want to stay. If, if you I'm didn't unha- stay, if I'm unhappy, I'm not gonna stay. If you didn't see that, that's what I'm saying. Happiness and relationships don't matter. Right. So I'm, I'm, comes real, from you. I'm realizing <laughs> that as I get older, you know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe you're not supposed to be happy, but I don't want to. I don't want to feel like. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. You're supposed to be happen. happy, but it's not supposed to be because of another person. This is why people are unhappy. They get in a relationship and mm-hmm. go, this relationship ain't making me happy. Bitch, you wasn't happy before you got in a relationship. Because if you're happy and he's happy, naturally the relationship is happy. If you're miserable, but you're but depending I've had on some him to make you happy. that were better than others. You know what I'm saying? Why you keep leaving them? What do you mean? Keep, how many relationships do you think I've had? Shit, you tell me. Not, th- I mean, I haven't had like a million. I'm just saying they just don't. After two, three years, it just doesn't work out. You know what I mean? I've had long relationships, but I don't know. Once you get to like that two, three year mark, you're kind of like shit. Just you think you you could become addicted to certain feelings of like our right, two, three year mark here is coming. Now I'm finna end this shit. I'm addicted. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, already in my mind. And with two, three years, you just listen, sit, I'm listen. just not. I'm just thinking. But some people can become addicted to certain emotions and don't even know it. You could become addicted to being alone. You can come addicted to the breakups. Of I don't even being think detached I can fall in love anymore. Any, honestly, bro. What, what? Okay, analyzing what she's saying. What you get out of that? Do you feel like she wants to be? Because to me, from getting what I'm hearing, this the fun chick. I'm not. No, the, no, I'm no, not disrespect, even, look, no disrespect. No disrespect to you. I mean, I, the vibes that you've given me is fun chick. Like really? we can have fun. Like, like I for sure would keep you as a side chick. Like, good luck. Sure. Good luck. Be with fun that. as hell. Yeah. And I seen another clip where you said I never met a man I didn't. I wanted to have kids. With I, like, I ever. didn't. But you have a kid. Right. So, I'm saying I, I, that's why. That's how I know I could tell you. Like if you don't feel that way about the man you're with, don't have kids with him. I'm. I'm not a, an advocate for having kids out of wedlock. You know what I'm saying. So do you like dealing with men that you don't even like? I don't like, I haven't, I, no. What? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> because you said I never met a man that I couldn't even imagine yeah. having kids with. So why even choose them type of men if you can't even see yourself? What man? I'm not talking to any man. I haven't spoken no, to The man you, you before, prior to, okay, whatever. The man I had a kid with, I was with him for two years. We were together. And, you know, I got pregnant. So I had a kid. I'm just asking, you said you never met a man that you couldn't see yourself 
having kids with, right? I'm not I'm saying, saying that, I'm not saying that the fact that you got are you talking that, about prior I'm saying after that? that if you if you're with a man and you don't look up to him like he's the best man you've ever met, then and he's gonna be the best father in the world and don't have kids with him. Because a lot of I'm not talking about myself, I'm just saying in oh, general, general, women out here are having kids with men for money for the wrong reasons. I'm saying if you have a kid with someone, you should respect the man you look that you have a child with and look at him as like he's gonna be such a great father. I wanna have his kid because I know this man is gonna be Oh, an amazing father to my child. Not I'm going to have his kid because he has money or I'm going to have his kid because, you know, I love him and he doesn't love me or whatever the fuck. Like, I think I don't want women to be single mothers. I want them to be, you know, like in a unified family. That's what I'm saying. See, I like, and I'm not I like fun. that. No. I'm not fun, by now the way. I'll fucking stab you. Now you fun. That's, that's the fun shit. That's that fun <laughs> shit. And you like Spanish or something? Just call me Poppy while you're doing it. But the reason, the reason I talk about these topics... It's because I want our communities to fix what the fuck is going on at home. Our 70% of our women are single mothers. They're having kids out of wedlock. Most of our kids are being raised in single parent dysfunctional households. I want to aim to put an end to that with, with our content. That's part of our goal or my goal individually, which is why I used to do the battle with the sexes, but it always went left. So now I try to take a different angle at it. You know what I'm saying? Because you get caught up in the back and forth so much, you don't really get a resolution. But the resolution is learn from her mistakes. I like that she said learn from me. Yeah. You took accountability on that part. Yeah. Now you, you're lacking accountability in some other areas. And I think <laughs> I think you know like you're not built for commitment. It's just hard, kind of hard saying that. Like, you know what? I am the fun girl. Fuck, it is what it is. I'm, I'm not that. I'm <laughs> you're not the fun, fun girl. I'm, I'm I mean, to... you don't even know me. You just met me like, what, two hours ago? No, I'm just going off your story that you told us. If What's the story? Us, what is the story? You, was with a, you never met a man that you ever wanted to have kids with, yet you was with a man for two years and chose to have a kid with him. So you had a kid with a man that you didn't even see yourself looking up to to want to have kids with, but you did it anyway. I mean, yeah, I did it because I've, I was in my 30s. I had uh, a couple... If you want to if you want to get real, I don't know how I really want to get... I don't know how much time raw you have. Raw and uncut. Huh? Real raw and uncut. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had a, a few miscarriages before, so I didn't think that I can have children, and I didn't want to not have children, so I said, if God allows me to keep this child, I'm just going to keep it. It had nothing to do with I'm the fun girl or whatever the fuck you're talking about. I just did not think that I could... Uh, physically have kids I thought I was not able to have kids so that's why I, I kept my child so that's the reason I mean I, I didn't really want to get into it on a podcast but yeah that's why I had a kid but I wish I would have had like a family like you know how you're saying I'm the fun girl but that's not really what I, I desire I desire a man in the house so like a fa I want to be a family but I want to be a family with a good man who's going to treat me good not make me feel afraid when he's mad or some shit like that. I don't want to be afraid of the man I'm with. Like at I don't what, I don't like that feeling. At what age did you think you woke up and was like, I want the real family thing? Since you said you felt like you got in your 30s, you felt like that clock was ticking. Yeah. So at what point did you think like, damn, I need to I need to get a family? Or do you feel like you was playing in your twenties? I was playing for sure. I was playing for sure. And, and uh, yeah. this is why every episode that we had these combos, we yeah, but up. I'm real at least. I'm gonna say the truth. Nah, it's yeah, good. We ain't, gonna, we, ain't, we, ain't, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna make you feel no type of way You're for that. Not, yeah. You can no, never no. make me no, feel some type I'm not of way. I'm, just, that, I'm telling the truth. I'm just real. Yeah, yeah I was definitely yeah. playing when I was in my 20s, and as I got older. I realized that men are garbage, and I might as well find one who's not that garbage and stay stay with him. Men are garbage is crazy. But she played all her twenties. The men she choosing is garbage. But I'm not talking down on her. I'm just <sighs> want her situation to be the not example. all men. I'm just kidding. Not all men. So there are some good men out here. Facts. I just I just haven't met them yet. You're looking at three of them. Facts. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot of women still playing and thinking it's a game. Because when you're in your 20s, like, you don't really want to settle down like that. You want to experience life. Y'all like you... still thinking it's a game. But my only thing to that and rebuttal to that is, I mean, we're, I think we're put on the earth to obviously have your fun. But when you go into the 20s and, like, we're here to have fun and live life, I would think that living life is finding somebody that you can love, build with, and then growing together. Because mm -hmm. once you do hit 60, 70, you're going to look back on a whole bunch of memories. And I would at least want those to be some, you know, memories that I um, or memories of value over like drunken nights, random hookups, 
Uh, and then also, you know, if you do build with one person or however it goes for you, um, you can hit 60, 70, and then you can look back on how we built together and then you have that empire together. Um, so when people say I wanted to live life, I mean, to me, I don't, I don't understand that because to me, living life is finding that one person, procreating. And building an empire. Together. Yeah, and you I, only know that if you have two parents in the whole in the home who instill good morals and values in you. If you come from a single, I just I just want to I'm about to cut you off. My bad. Sorry. I just want to say one thing before we get up out of here, real quick, because every a lot of people that I hear, majority that come from poverty, feel like their life is over when they have kids, but they still choose to have kids when they have no financial means of doing anything. And people with money, I don't assume that their life is over. They're taking trips with their kids. They're enjoying life. They're living life. That don't mean your life is over because you have kids. It goes back to what we were saying before about people regretting their kids or having them at certain ages because you was broke. That's the only reason you mad. If you wasn't, you'd be doing everything with your kids, taking trips mm -hmm. and doing whatever, and still be living a great life. But go ahead, uh, that, viral. That's, yeah. that's a fact. <laughs> you you talking to somebody who came from poverty, single-parent household, I still talk to my dad, but he wasn't like there in the house. You talking to somebody who been in the streets. You talking to somebody who been to prison. You talking to somebody who been homeless and made it through all of that and became a man in the top 15%. I got two kids. I had them when I was dead broke. Nothing but a felony and a strike. And nigga, I take my kids out the country. I take them on trips. Nigga, I just came back from a trip and I got another flight next week. So like bro just said... Having kids don't mean your life is over. It's perspective. Either you could look at it like, damn, my life is over and that's going to be your life and your life is fucked and your kid's life is fucked and you don't let your bloodline down. You a fucking loser that should have never had kids. Or you could be a winner like me and let it propel you and say, hey, man, you got to stand on your two feet, grab your nuts and be something out here and become something out here. But it's all about perspective. And it do come with hard work and it do come with working smarter, not harder. But having kids ain't the end all be all. And a lot of that is having a good support system, which is a good uh, a partner at home where you don't feel like you got to do everything and life is just overcoming you so much. You can't even get time to, to fucking think to tell your kid to get off the iPad. This is why you got to be meticulous with who you have a kid with. Stop thinking life is a fucking game. And when y'all keep saying, oh, I need to experience life. Everything that you're experiencing, you can experience with a partner. It's actually better to experience it with a partner. Because I done been out the country on trips, on guys' trips, and they ain't as fun when you go with your girl on a couple's trip. It's just not. Or when you go with your kids. It's much more enjoyable. Because after you done fucked a thousand bitches and got drunk, what do you really have to remember? Yeah, you could have did that in the city. All you did was go to another place and, and do that. You know what I'm saying? Same with the women. What are you experiencing? You're just experiencing different men, different dick. And when that gets to be not fun anymore now you want the family now you want to settle down but you could have had that you had action in that so everything you did on them girls trips you could have did with a man and been building lifetime memories because i'm telling you it gets to a point where money don't matter you might not have got enough money to reach that point but we done bought every car you done traveled the world you done bought every piece of designer only thing that matters is the memories the money don't mean shit no more at the end of the day we just so consumed with it we get lost with with, with reality, because life really has no meaning. It's the meaning you give it. So if you chasing these millions and all of that, you're going to get it, and then you're going to look back and be like, damn, I done missed out on life chasing this goddamn money. When well, the things if, you have really no matter, money, if you have no money, you can't really live life. And I was just going to say that. Don't take what he's saying out of context. Money is everything, but it ain't everything at the end of the day. You need money to survive. You need money to, to create these experiences at the same time. It is some people that's financially just stable and they enjoy life. They're at peace and happy with just a family and certain things. So define your success in your own view. Stop comparing everybody else's shit, but get the money because the money is going to bring and make everything else better. That is the truth. But money is not everything. Definitely get the money. Yeah. Facts. Once again, thank you for, uh, not even once again, thank you for coming through. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know we didn't get to get to too many spicy topics like you like to discuss yeah, that I've seen good. your content. But it's all good. I fucks with you, though, because you took accountability. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And a lot of women we have on, they don't. So you got my respect for that. Right. So I don't want you to feel like we just was shitting on you or I, I don't I don't feel any type of way. Good, because it okay. wasn't personal. It just I, I try to get a viewers a bird's eye view of uh -huh. somebody who's been through it. Right. Because you got the younger women thinking, well, it's gonna be different for me. No, it's not. It's not gonna be different for you if you follow in the same footsteps. The same with niggas in the streets. We done been there, done that already, then got cracked like 
Every nigga think I'm going to be the one to not get caught. I was the same nigga thinking I ain't going to get caught. <laughs> nigga, they caught John Gotti. They caught yeah. everybody. They caught Big Meech. <laughs> and you ain't doing it nowhere near the level they was doing. So you're going to get caught. So just understand, learn from others' mistakes. You know, smart people learn from their own mistakes. Wise people learn from the mistakes of others. Facts. Learn from other people's mistakes so you don't got to follow that same path. So thank you for opening up yeah. to the people out there because I know that probably was hard to do. Put your life on display for that, but not really. You maybe, maybe, just I'll, somebody. maybe I'll feel it later. You might nah, just, you not, good. You might nah, <laughs> you might need to get that out. We appreciate you for coming on here. We appreciate everything, your perspective, and the energy was good for the most part until you was ready to stab, bro. But <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> so you got, hey, you got any yeah. final words, gang? Yeah. Uh, no, that's that's shit. You guys said everything, really. Ah, look. That's cool. You got any final words? Hey, go go follow my girl's shit, man. Tell them where they can find you again. Tacos and Shawarma on Instagram. Tacos and Shawarma. Y'all see me on there soon, man. I, you feel me? Y'all tap in with her shit, man. Flash me and I'm out. <laughs> Long be stand up the viral mm. way. Ain't no handouts. I did it from the ground up. Yeah. In the streets, thug and hardest where they found us. Exactly. Got a problem, nigga. Watch my troopers mount up. My bitches bang too. And you a lame though. You niggas ain't outside. Yeah, we came through. You want your lights up? We put you on the shade.